I feel so empowered by your love that I wish to scream out so that every hill and valley, every man and woman and child can hear my cry of love that you have allowed me to express. For it is true that each of us have the power to feel, but we all rely on one another to express this expression to take place, yet we often forget this feeling that we are alone, that we are capable of doing everything on our own, yet it bears no truth. Love takes two truthful lovers for all those hidden desires and chained emotions to break the bars that have set them down and allow them to, like lightning, discharge themselves and emanate all over the body within which the heart, mind and soul merely lives. O oh Lord, O oh Maiden, O oh men and women, feel this love that transcends my whole body. Feel my heart as it beats so full, it's full to the brim. My veins pumping at the very optimum, for this is what I was created to do. I am as a beacon that shines out all it can see throughout the spinning, universal, colossal. I am imbued with every good feeling that a man who has found love after such misery can be. I am alive. I am alive. O oh world, if this day could trickle into all others ahead of me, if this feeling of greatness could continue for everything that I have ever done upon this world amounts to nothing to what I have achieved upon the matching over this fair maiden of my heart. For sure, it is nothing much done by me, but it's greater than any worldly thing I have achieved, even greater than any word that I have penned or word I have uttered. For these are merely means in which I may achieve my lifelong goal of being able to give and receive love, reciprocal love. All I have done it and my whole existence presents me so that I may see it. I can feel this power within me as if I were a light that floats around me, an aura, a shade of white, blue, purple and reds, all shades and hues that filter into the green pasture that I see below me, the smoky cabin in the middle of the hills where the maiden and I met halfway and first clasped hands and started this love affair that would last a day. And God, I beg, shall last every day that I have breath in my body at this same passion expression as it does today. Amen. Two. All the time had passed and gone, and I have sunk into the ground now that you have left my side, and I am left in the cabin where we first met. The table still set as you had set it, the kettle still half full on the stove, a fingerprint on a cup, could it be yours? As I look to the view through the open curtain windows, I see the majestic green fields beckoning out to me, yet my heart no longer belongs out there, it is sunken by the poison of a love now gone. How shall I live as other men live, without this love by my side? Am I indeed the strangest of creatures upon this very kind earth? For I am consumed by the very thought of that fair maiden, even with, my green, even with my eyes full wide awake, I see visions of her dancing about my pupils. I feel tears stream down of happiness and of sorrow, for I want her by my side at all times. Is this love so pure and true that it pains my heart so? I feel at the missing of her an electric burning all through my body, my, fingers, my chest and fingers, burning with an acid that must run through my veins. Is this the injection of a lost love from my heart as it pains and cannot hold on any longer? I feel cold as if her shadow upon mine kept me warm. Oh, sweet, sweet world in which we live, how can this be so? How can a man be devoid of life by not having another? How can a man truly not live if he is but single, solitary, alone? For this seems to be me. For the day before I met her, I was lonely and sad and saw this world of color only in black and white and felt no happiness would descend upon me. Only those I saw before my eyes and felt such bitter pain. For why should I, a good man, not have the cup of this happiness to drink as he pleases, as others seem to partake from so easily? But now I've drunk from this cup and I wish to be drunk upon this, the wine of love, her love. I want her, need her, and consume like an ever-raging fire. I want to burn the whole world just to get to her. I feel my heart big and full, ready to burst. I can't contain these feelings and emotions. But what if I am to never ever meet this fair maiden again? What shall I do with my life? How will I forget these glorious moments upon the hills by the grand tree? above all civilization, like Adam and Eve, the first true love since. And if she was never to hold my hand again, how many tears would I cry? For sure, if I could cry as much as I would cry oceans, and would flood this whole bloody world to ever, 
every one was dead and they would look to my tear-stained eyes and in their drowning they would understand the meaning of their death as if an expression could be read by the taste of long gone salt tears. Oh dear Lord, shall it be that I was to taste but once of this wine, and never again? What cruelty is this, that I am a man left to loneliness, as his food and water should continue to be starved of the thing he needs so much? Love, what fairness is this, O oh dear Lord, do not deny this maiden from me. Another lost love will surely be the end of me. How many women must a man bury, not of his own accord? For sure, it is a painful business. Oh, so dear Lord, let me keep this one treasure to the day we both shall die. On this bed as we lay down our passions upon, let every day be as this one. Can it not be so? For sure, if love can be cultivated, can it not last? If one works at it, as a farmer does his land, tilling and weeding, and although bad seasons may come, still the wheat does grow. Let our love be as the greatest field in this land always producing such goods that even the smallest bad shall not make a frown upon our faces. Oh dear Lord, let this be my end, be with this woman in happiness, to make up for the third of my life spent in loneliness and misery. Let the rest, however long you may give me, be filled with her blessing. Let her return to me and take up my heart and hand and walk through every shadow that comes across us with the knowledge that we are blind to all around and the misery of existence, but are kept in view of my fair maiden and I walking in light through the dark shadows. Let our love always grow, O oh dear sweet Lord, let me have but this one wish, if I may have any, that this fair maiden is not some sport, that she is the owner of my heart, mind and soul, that she is the part that I have cried many a night for that she is the one that shall love me truly as I am with my faults and strength and always wish to love me from this day forward to the end as I wish to love her in the same way. Amen. Three. You have no need to be alone anymore. If it is love that you wish to spend the rest of your life exploring then you have found it in me. If you wish to bathe yourself in everlasting passions, the soul of peace, freedom, then take my hand this day and pledge never to let it go. Keep the spirit burning. Let no dark shadows, no, let no dark shadow our love. Let it emanate throughout this fair land as a lighthouse does across the seas to warn other loves that love can truly be found. For you spent a long time alone, but now it has come to end. Like me, you feel this time could never come that loneliness would be your only friend. I had even the day before we met looked to the tracks of my life and wanted to throw myself unprotected out to some certain death, for I was sure no happiness could my heart feel, or it was chosen not to, but then you came into my life, and our love is proof that you should never give it up, for who knows what treasure you may miss out, for sure if I jumped my death headlong, the pain would have been over, but the knowledge of pain is the possibility of the grasp of beauty, for you must learn, you must lose to win, and once you have and can, then only time stands your way. Oh, if you wish to never be alone, have a man to worship your every thought, wish, desire, then take my hand and pledge this day that you have found what you have looked for all your life, that all the misery has been leading to this moment of happiness untamed. Take my hand, pledge our undying love from this day till the end.